Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to do paper weaving. Now, weaving's a really fun way of kind of using up um, kind of the junk mail that might come through your letterbox or if you get um, like the food magazines in supermarkets or if you did some paintings that you're not overly keen on doing, then nothing goes to waste because you can use the papers up here and you can kind of weave it all through to create your own new design. And this is a really, really fun technique and it's one that was also done by an artist called Annie Albers so definitely have a google of her work and you can kind of see the amazing things she created. So I'm going to move these examples out of the way so that we can start ours and I'll come back to them in a little bit to show just the different ways you can kind of do it. So if you're weaving along as well I've got a Pritt stick which we'll be using for finishing off, I've got a pair of scissors, I've got a ruler I've got an old Radio Times, you can use any sort of magazine or newspaper or old letters or envelopes and then I've just got a square of paper. You don't have to use a plain sheet of paper. I quite like using it because it makes the other colours pop and stand through, stand through, stand out. But this one was done using all junk paper so you can absolutely make it work for you. So got your piece of paper what you're going to do i'll move this one out of the way just so it keeps it clear here we go right so you've got your piece of paper in front of you you're going to fold it in half so that means you're bringing this bottom edge up to meet the top edge it doesn't have to be too precise and then you're just going to push that creep down just so it sits nice and flat with your fingers and taking your scissors you want to cut from the fold up to this top edge which isn't folded but don't go all the way you want to stop I'd say about the length of your thumbnail so you don't go all the way up and it's just rough and it doesn't have to be too precise I'm just so I'm going to cut all the way up to there which about you see that about my thumbnail and then you're going to keep doing this they don't have to be the same width and so don't worry about them being too straight either because you can do it. Let's just get the other example. See here how I cut the lines wavy? So you can absolutely deliberately cut wavy lines as you go. I'm going to do it in straight lines just because it might be easier for the video. And you want to make sure that all of these cuts are stopping in roughly the same sort of place. Okay, so once you've done that, and you can see here how they're starting to fold, you're going to open it back out, and then because you just want to lessen that fold, so turn it over and just use your hand and lightly you're going to push that on. Don't put too much pressure on because otherwise it'll um, rip through. So once you've done that, and you've got, this is going to be your weaving frame. Now move this out of the way, and then this is when you get to go to the magazine or the junk mail that comes through, and you're going to use... I'm going to use a long ruler and actually I'm going to, actually before I do that I'm just going to rip this page out and I quite like, choose the kind of the pages that you like, it might be because you like the colours on it or it might be because you like got your favourite football team on or your favourite TV character on and you're going to put the ruler on so it kind of goes the entire length of that and using your hand you're going to really push down on this ruler to hold the ruler flat and you're going to tear the paper so this hand is holding it flat and I'm pushing the ruler and with this hand over here I'm kind of pulling the paper against the ruler and what it does is you're still getting a straight line but it's just going to give it a really nice kind of textured edge so if I can move it up like that which when you weave them together is going to look really nice so you want to keep doing this and you kind of move it into strips and again you can do as many strips as you like you can do them in different lengths different widths so long as they're um, not any shorter than the width of the paper that we cut previously so i'm going to cut three of that color because i quite like that one and then actually i might see what's on yeah, I might use the other side as well, and then I can alternate between the two. So you can use as many colours as you want to, as many different sorts of paper. You could use a mixture of kind of junk mail, you can do a mixture of 
offcuts from your paintings if there are any that you think would work really nice for this. If you did some of the earlier videos on um, painting with marbles, or the string painting, if there are any offcuts from there or any pieces that didn't turn out the way you wanted them to, then you could use that to do this with as well. Okay, so you've got your strips. I'm going to move this back over. And I'm going to bring back this bit that we kind of cut out earlier. So this is when we're going to start weaving it. So the thing you want to remember with weaving is you're going to alternate, which means that we're going to pass these through. So this first strip, you're going to pass it over that first strip and under the next one. See here how I've then done that? And you want to keep going over and then under and then over the next one and then under and then you'll end up going over that last one so see here how it's kind of you can see it's gone over under over under over under and then over and then using your hands it might be that you want to move the color up a little bit because there might be different bits that you like and then using your fingertips you're just going to push it up to the top so that that bit where we stopped cutting up towards that's where we're going to stop it and don't worry about these bits sticking out because we're going to come to those and then for your second strip you're going to do the opposite so this one we started off by going over which means the next one we start by going under so you go under over under over under over and under and the really good thing about this is that if you can't remember which way you started it's really easy just to look at it and tell kind of which way the next one should go and again you're just going to push that up once you've woven it through you just push it up towards the top and you keep going then doing this with your strips so we're now going to go back to doing over like we did on the first one so so she, she moves it around so over under over under over under and over and don't worry if this see how this other strip is kind of making a bid for freedom that's fine because you can then just move it out again and use your fingers and just smooth it into place and then i'm going to push this one up here and then i'm going to go back to this one and you can see here how this is a much narrower strip than this and that it's quite nice in a way to use different size strips because it kind of gives it gives your piece a bit more you know a bit more style a bit more movement makes it more personal to you so i've gone under over under over under over under and then i'm just going to push it up and make sure these are all pushed up and you can cut, sort of see kind of how much space there might be to go left so can't remember now but I can see I went under there which means I'm going to start this one by going over so over under over under and the good thing about this being with paper is that it's really forgiving so it doesn't matter if it kind of gets a bit scrumpled or a bit bent out of shape because you can just use your hands and smooth it back down and you can also try doing it with knitting wool or any crochet wool if you've got any ribbons around the house and you can do that so i can probably fit one more strip in here and typically this last strip can be a little bit fiddly to do so you need to be quite patient when you're doing it right so this last strip then i'm gonna go under and over and it may be actually that this last strip here your strip may be slightly wider than the gap that you've got and if that's the case you kind of just as we did with the ruler, you just kind of tear a bit off to make it the right width to go through. So under, over, under, over. You can see here that it's starting to get a little bit caught up, so I'm just going to ease it out a bit. Over, and then under. over and then under the last one and then I'm just going to pull through those bits that got a bit muddled up just make sure it sits nice and flat and you just want to pull these strips out so they're sitting flat they're not bunched up and they're all kind of placed nicely there 
Then these bits, what you're going to do is, is you're going to trim them off. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't need to be too precise. So I'm only going to trim a little bit off of them here. Oops. So I'm not, I'm not measuring it. I'm not, just want to make sure they're not hanging off too much. And again, I'm going to do a similar sort of thing over here. Again, don't worry about it being straight. You're just going to trim them down. Actually, that bit's really wonky, so I'll do. There we go. And all of these bits, keep all of these bits, because I'm going to do another video showing how we're going to do some collage and some fun bits with this. So definitely keep hold of these offcuts. And then, just to neaten it off then, so you've got your finished woven piece like this. You're going to turn it over. And you can see, actually, it's made the same pattern on the reverse and it might be that you prefer the pattern on the reverse side and that's absolutely fine so definitely have a look both sides and see which way you prefer once you've decided which bit's going to be the back of your piece so i quite like this one so this is going to be the front this is going to be the back these bits on the edge you're going to fold them over so that they sit nice and flat against that edge this one can you see there there's quite a big bit to fold there so that's fine, you just want to fold it all the way across, so they're probably going to alternate because that's what happens when we, we're doing the weaving, like this. And you can see there, how I'm just folding them all through. And do the same on the other side. And use your thumb or use a fingernail and just push it so it sits nice and flat against it. Okay, and then this one uses a glue stick. And you don't need much at all. You're just going to put a little bit here on the edges to stop it coming undone. So a little bit of glue on it and then push it down to hold it into place. I'm going to do that on all of these edges, all the way around. And then once it's done, you can hang it on a wall, you can pop it in a card, you can do all sorts of sizes and shapes and you could... Um, you could then stick another piece of card to the back of this and if you made quite a narrow one you could turn it into a bookmark or you could turn it into you know, a coaster or a placemat you could pop a magnet on the back and then stick it on your fridge you could put it in a scrapbook you can use it for all sorts of things or you can just keep it for the fun of making it because it looks really nice and you could use i don't know your favorite letters or your favorite TV times it was on that day. Right, so that's all stuck down. So flip it over, and you can see there, you've now got your beautiful woven piece. And it's a really, really fun process to do. And again, it's the same sort of process, but that point at the start, remember when I folded it in half and then cut lines? So this one is when I cut wavy lines going up. Remember not to cut all the way to the top, because otherwise it'll be really, you won't get that kind of flat edge here. And that creates a really fun sort of new movement to it. Or you could, last thing I wanted to show you, is on this one, I then used this kind of grey paper and then I stuck it to the top to create a frame for it of itself. So if you wanted to do that on here, you would measure each side and then you would cut a strip of paper that you might want to do, like a white frame would look really nice on this. And then I'd pop some glue along here and then stick the white frame to it so it'd look like that. And again, I put another piece of paper on the back of it just so that you wouldn't see those bits. But it's completely up to you and what you decide to use it for. So have a play, see what papers there are around your house, see what colours kind of catch your eye, which designs you like, whether you want to try doing the wavy weaving or whether you want to go for more of a, like a, a scrappy found papers weaving or whether you want to use your special wrapping paper maybe and kind of doing like a weaving to remember your birthday or something and just have fun playing and let me know what you think let me know what you make and i will see you soon for the next video bye